Hello once again everyone, Vanguard of Valor here and welcome back to another episode of FTL. Now if you're not interested in hearing about the ship, how to get it, and what it does, click here, or right about there, and you should be able to jump straight to the action. But if you have chosen to stay, good on ya. Let's talk about our ship a little. Let's hit a new game. We are going to be playing with the Mantis Cruiser today, but not with the Type A, we will be using the Type B, the Basilisk. Nice uh, purple and teal color scheme on it, looks pretty cool, and has some very interesting features. So let's talk quickly about the systems it has. First and most importantly, it has this thing. A four-man teleporter. Definitely the only one I've seen so far. It's very powerful, especially given that you have a lot of mantises, or you will hopefully have a lot of mantises on board this ship, giving you an incredible and more or less unprecedented murdering potential. Also worth noting, you start with a drone system, giving you a boarding drone and a defense drone. It is also worth noting that you start with a weapon system, but no weapons. It is also only starting at level 1, meaning that in order to upgrade it to the second level, you have to spend 60 scrap, which is massively more than the third level. This is a similar problem that you'll have in the Type A. Starting at level 1, the second level also costs 60. You have other similar normal things, such as a shield system, you have an engine, you have doors, oxygen, radar, and a three-man medbay. It's worth noting that although you have four uh, men in the teleporter, only three can heal up at any given time. Unless you happen to find yourself healing bombs, most likely. Now, one other thing, two other things worth mentioning. One of them is that this system also has Mantis Pheromones, allowing all of your crew to move 25% faster when on board your own ship. But it is also worth mentioning that you only have two Mantises. On the Type A, you have three Mantises and an NG. Which means that since you don't have anyone that does not suffer from the minus 50% uh, repair speed, you are going to have a hard time repairing damage if you take damage. Somewhat to make up for that, you'll notice that our shield does actually have two layers to start out with, which is pretty unprecedented. But, uh, as far as I can tell anyway. But, going to be very useful in the long run. Now we need to rename this thing, and then we'll talk about how you actually get it as regards to other ships. And then we'll jump straight into the action. So this is going to be the VSS Monstrosity. Fantastic. And we're going to have Godzilla and Mothra, I think, on board. So you can be Godzilla. And you can be Mothra. Lovely. I know Mothra doesn't make sense as a mantis, but, you know, wings, whatever. It just looks like there's some wings in there or something. <laughs> now, to get this ship, you have to do two things, as always to the previous type. In order to get this ship, it's a little bit complicated. In order to get the Type A Mantis Cruiser, you have to first get to Mantis Homeworlds. You have to have a teleporter, or some other means. No, you do have to have a teleporter. I think you have to have at least level 2 teleporting, possibly higher. You also have to have a level 2 medbay. You don't have to power at all, but you have to have level 2 medbay. That way, when you uh, find Kazakh, something like Kazakh Pithkilik's ship, He's a pirate captain. You have to kill all of the crew without destroying the ship. You'll then have an event where the captain himself is found. You have the option to teleport him on board your ship and heal him with your advanced medbay. If you do those things, he joins your crew and offers you his ship. So that's how you get the ship itself. As for the achievements, these two are quite easy, and this one is a bit of a jerk. The first one, Take No Prisoners, involves killing the crew of 20 ships by Sector 6 in the Mantis Cruiser. And that is quite easy to do given that you have a bunch of mantises and a teleporter, and it's really designed around killing the crews of ships. If you're not killing the crews of the ships and you're destroying them, well, you're not doing it properly. Either that or you're fighting drones, who can't be killed with boarding parties very easily. The other option here is a vast scurvy dogs for killing five enemy crew in a fight without taking any hull damage or losing a crew member in the mantis cruiser. Now, this one's a little bit more complicated, but all it really involves is finding a ship that you can knock the weapons out of and then shuffling uh, your mantises back off and on board as you kill all the crew. Hopefully they don't have a med bay. That makes it a lot easier. The third one is a bit of a jerk. It involves, it's called Battle Royale and it involves using the mantis cruiser and killing the last enemy on their ship with the last crew member on our ship while we have been on their ship. <laughs> Ugh. Teleporting on board their ship and killing their last crew member with your last crew member is what I meant to say. That's not particularly hard to do, especially if they don't have a medbay, because you can just teleport back and forth. But, 
it is isn't irritating in the fact that you have to only have one mantis left, and on the ship you start with four crew. So unless you're intentionally firing all of your crew just to get that achievement, it's not something that it seems to me like it would happen normally. But that's enough of that. Let us jump into this game and do some work. Here we go. Actually, here we go. Okay, the data we carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. We'll need supplies for this journey, so we'll need to make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. We'll also need to get to the exit before the, re re the pursuing rebels can catch us. Oh yes. Alright, well this is going to be an interesting setup. I'm not entirely sure how it's all going to work. One thing that I know we want is we are going to want to power up our helm. This is going to be one of the few times where upgrading piloting is going to be useful, because we want to be able to bring both of our mantises into this teleporter and teleport to the enemy ship. However, if there's no one in the helm, we have 0% dodge chance, and we're going to get beaten up quite badly. We even have a boarding drone. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. A boarding drone gives us the potential of a third boarding crew member, so that's always fun. Now, we are definitely going to want that, yes. Definitely going to want that upgraded helm, though, otherwise we're going to be completely sitting ducks while we've teleported on board enemy ships. Upon completing our jump, we receive a message from a nearby ship saying, Greetings, and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. Well, unfortunately for them, they didn't realize that we were on our way to kill them. So we're going to count blindly on the trust in our defense drones. We're going to charge on board with our pair of mantises, and hope they don't manage to murder us. I doubt we'll have a hard time here, especially because it looks like they're both Zoltan. Excellent. Godzilla and Mothra. You guys are going to make someone's life sucky. Specifically these two guys. Now, one of the important things... Ooh, there we go. We just got an achievement called Trustworthy Autopilot for killing the enemy crew while having no one on board our own ship. There are no more life signs remaining on board the ship, so we gather a fuel drone part and 22 scrap off it. Excellent. That said, Trustworthy Autopilot achievement is very easy to get, apparently, with this crew, because we got in our first fight ever with them. But I guess that's just how it goes. Let us jump back in here. Alright. Now we can upgrade that uh, helm. Good. So we have a little bit of dodge chance now. We have like 2%, 5-1%. Well, it's not great now, but it will be once we upgrade those engines. I guess I probably shouldn't have got it first. Whatever. No harm done. It appears that the stress beacon is coming from the surface of a nearby moon. Our sensors pick up a single life form. Let's go down to the surface and investigate. We find a colony that has been recently attacked. Exploring the devastation, we find a lone survivor. Well, we need some crew, so let's invite him to join us. He happily offers his services for a time in exchange for getting off that rock. And it's another mantis. Magnificent. We have a boarding party of three. Lovely. Although Godzilla, Mothra, and Charlie is a bit of a lame combination. But you know what? We'll make do. We shall make do. Now let us jump onwards. We don't need to go to the store, because there's literally nothing for us to buy, and no money for us to buy it with, and this is going to be bad. We can't fight them, because they're a robot. Let's avoid the conflict, unfortunately. We steer clear of the conflict, and the outpost receives a beating, but the ship stops its attack before being destroyed. Well, not before, before the station is destroyed. It would be nice to be able to fight that guy. I guess I could have fought him with boarding drones. Uh, I should have tried that. Ah, yeah, well. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Let's jump over here. Would have been a long, boring fight. Ugh. What was that about long, boring fights? Upon completing our jump, we receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome to our beacon, they say. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. We're not able to put up with that. They say we'll regret the decision, but I think they will be the ones regretting. Now, I don't know if this is going to do anything. Let's try firing a boarding drone at that shield. Boop. I bet it's going to bounce off or something silly. Yeah, it actually just exploded. Interesting, didn't even do any damage to it. Well, that means we can't fight them. Zoltan and automated drones are the worst thing we can possibly have to fight at this stage, because we have no way of damaging them. I guess we might as well put him on something, and him on something when we're not uh, boarding the enemy ships, but it's really a very temporary thing. This is a bit frustrating, there's nothing we can do. And by nothing, I mean literally nothing. I'm sure if we could get on board their ship, we could wreck them, but if we can't get to their ship, we can't fight them. Come on, hurry up and charge, FTL Drive. They can't even hurt us. We're just sitting here waiting for this thing to charge up. 
And of course, since we have level 1 engines, it charges incredibly slowly. Ah, oh, well. It's funny though, I was playing a game the other day with the Mantis Type A, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't have had this one yet. And it was not as much fun when I wasn't recording it. It was a really good game, too. I got like my second highest score ever, but it just wasn't as satisfying without having you guys to talk to, even though I don't even know who's here. <laughs> An especially well armed pirate ship approaching it approaches us, saying, Hand over one of your crew members and the rest can go free unharmed. But we will never surrender one of our crew to slavers. Let's go, guys. We have to we have some people to murder. Teleport action. Bzz, time to kill some people. They got a rock and a human. Unfortunately for them, we've got three mantises on board their ship. Now, that's gonna hit us. That's gonna hit us. Yeah. There's that whole problem about not being able to dodge anything. You get in there, kill him. Hurry up, guys. There we go. It appears the slaves did not survive the fighting. We find their burnt bodies in the hold. But before we strip the ship, we hear faint noises in the walls. We break off a latch, and a slave falls out of a hidden compartment, coughing. Once recomposed, the slave offers to join our crew. Interesting. We gain three fuel, two missiles, and 18 scrap. I hope you're an NG. You are an NG! Well done! That's perfect. Alright, hang on. How would I teleport them all back into my ship? <laughs> I guess we gotta get them in a four-person room. Alright. Back on board. You guys can go chill in the med bay. Well done, NG. I guess now that we have four, uh, a non-NG crew member, that higher, uh, really, that really was a waste. I wanted, I wanted a reason for upgrading the helm to be useful, but it really isn't. <laughs> ah well, silly mistake. You can be in there now, NG, and we'll send these guys to these various stations. One in there. You can go in there. You can go in there. So Godzilla's on the engines now, Mothra's over there. I don't think it really matters who's who, because we're probably going to be replacing all of them in these jobs sooner or later. But let's see what else we can do. Let us jump onwards. Let's go... Where are we going to go? Let's go over here. Looks like the best course of action to me. What do we have here? A missile shoots across our bow when, we jump, when our jump completes. Quick scans reveal a ship with pirate markings pursuing an unknown vessel. The pirate hails us, saying, Damn it! We weren't expecting company! Stay out of this and you could profit! Well, that's a terrible profit, so we're gonna be a hero and attack that pirate. The pirate ship stops his pursuit and locks weapons on us, but that's okay because we're gonna jump on board their ship. Alright, boys, here we go. Three, two, one. Hello! Time to murder! They have a mantis, but we have three mantises. Kind of a hard time doing anything to us, and that was lucky that laser missed. That's gonna put them in a hard position. Alright guys, you get in there and hurry up and kill that rock, and we should be good to go. As far as I can tell, there's no one else in here. Fantastic. There we go. The pirates are dead, leaving their ship dead in space. We scrounge what we can before contacting their prey. We gather a missile, a drone part, and 14 scrap. The pirate's victim has jumped away before we have a chance to contact them. Thankfully, we can just multi-tap rooms, I guess, once they're teleported out. I was worried we'd have to wait for the timer to reset, but it appears that's not the case. And I quite appreciate that. Now, what are we going to buy? We're going to buy another level of engines first, because man, it sucks having only level 1 engines. And our NG should, our, our Mantis should be good to go. So let's jump to this distress beacon and see what they want. What say you? Ah. The distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire, and the repair crew can't approach without being fired on. They want our help to fix it, and thankfully we have an NG who can do just that remotely. Our crew member remotely fixes the glitch in the defense AI, giving the repair crew the chance to close in and finish the job. The station thanks us, gives us three fuel, a drone part, 19 scrap, and stealth weapons. That would be nice if we had a stealth system or weapons. <laughs> like, really? Like... Guys, we, we don't have weapons. Or stealth. Alright, whatever. Let's jump onwards. Hopefully there'll be something better here, or more useful here. We find another slaver here. An especially well-armed pirate ship approaches us, saying that if we hand over one of our crew members, the rest of us can go free. But we're not about to surrender our crew. We're here to make them surrender theirs. Let's teleport into their ship and murder them. Murder? Murder. Make them regret coming here. We've gotten pretty lucky so far. The Mantis have consistently decided to try and fight the room with the other two Mantis in it. Saves us having to move people around. Alright. We find a number of slaves in their cargo hold. They look at us questioningly, and one asks if they're to be released. 
We could use more crew, but we don't want to force them all to work for us instead. Hmm, what do we get? We could get a fourth Mantis. That would make us even nastier. Or a rock mine or an NG. An NG might be better to help repair damage, but we do have one already. Let's get a fourth Mantis, just to be evil. We'll demand the Mantis joins our crew, but release the rest. The Mantis seems fine with the orders, saying, I'm on board if it means we get to kill some rebels. We drop the rest off at a nearby station. We also gather a fuel, a missile, and 19 scrap. Alright guys, you guys are stuck in those different rooms, so I guess I'll just teleport you out. Oh yeah, you can't do that when you're trying to break down doors. I always forget how that works. And you can come back over here too. You guys go heal up. Mort. Alright, now Mort, Charlie, Godzilla, and Mothra are going to be our team murder squad. We have four Mantis, raring to go. We really need, like, a basic weapon, though. <laughs> Something to get through the shields on Zoltan cruisers and, and, you know, maybe hurt unarmored uh, drones. We see a civilian space station hit with heavy damage. They offer to buy our drone parts in exchange for scrap in order to speed up their repairs. I'm hesitant to sell them too many because we're going to need them, but I will sell them three for 12 scrap because a little scrap boost right now would definitely not go amiss. Now, what do we want to buy, though? We could probably afford to buy sensors, but I, I think we're going to go for another level of engines. Make us harder to hit. That'll do. And we'll jump to our exit. Now, I'm hesitant to spend these energy bars yet either, because we may need these. Probably that's going to change shortly, and I'll put them in a bit more use. When we jump to this beacon, we detect two ships, one chasing the other, and the pursuer is a pirate. Well, we love killing pirates, so let's aid that's... Oh, no, we don't love killing pirates. Ugh. We power up our weapons and engage the Zoltan. Alright. Activate the defense drones so they can't kill us with missiles. It's too bad you can't use your teleporter on them with super shields. They're like the worst possible thing we could possibly have to fight, and here they are again. At least we have level 3 engines, so we'll get out of here a bit faster. Uh-huh. And our defense drone should do a pretty good job of knocking out that. This, if all three shots hit us, could hurt. Yes, it did. Magnificent. Alright. Mantis, all four of you, go repair. Where did one of them go? They just, like, phased into each other. That's kind of weird. <clears throat> yes, and they hit us again in the same room, because they're jerks. They are indeed jerks. And we should be able to get out of here now. So let's jump out of here before they attack us again. <laughs> the option of a Zoltan-controlled sector or a Zoltan-controlled sector. Hmm. Very interesting. By which I mean not at all interesting. Zoltan-controlled sectors are the worst possible options for us, too. Really? Ugh. We've entered Zoltan territory. They're not always renowned for giving anything for nothing. But they can always be assured of a fair hearing. Alright. Hopefully we won't find too many Zoltan ships here, though. Because if we do, we're going to have a hard time doing anything to any of them. Also, this is a big nebula. Alright, what do we have in here? Anything? There's nothing here, save for vast swirls of gas reflecting rays from a distant sun. Okay, then. And an ion storm. Magnificent. We spy two pirate ships lurking in the nebula here. They remain unaware of our presence, but once we're able to get scanners to identify their cargo, we discover that one is carrying fuel and the other ammunition. They begin to drift away from each other in the storm. Let's secure the fuel supply. We don't need any munition because we don't have any weapons. <laughs> it's Zoltan. <laughs> Why is everything Zoltan? We jet towards the pirate with the fuel supplies and engage. Hopefully we can leave the ship in one piece. Yeah, well, we would be able to if we could fight them. Ugh. Alright, guys. You're going to go on some stations or something. You're going to go over there. There we go. Alright. You guys can, like, chill out in there or something while we do nothing here. They can't even hurt us! Like, they literally, this is perfect, because they can't hurt us, but we can't get through their super shield, so we can't kill them. Ugh. We need a weapon. Just uh, any terrible weapon. Any would do. Alright. Hurry up and let's get out of here. This is the slowest, slowest charging FTL. Busy storm, too. Lots of lightning. Wow. Alright. Let us jump out of here. Come on. Don't stop like that. Let's go. There we go. Alright, we're gonna get... I guess right out of the nebula? Yeah, we'll go, we'll go a bit slower than the nebula. In case there's anything good in here. In this nebula, we detect a rogue planet drifting through space. 
On its surface, a huge monolith visible at this distance, even to the naked eye. A Zoltan Elder hails us from the planet. Through luck or intent, you have discovered the Great Eye. Look into its depths and receive your just desert. Alright then, let's pull the ship in closer and take a look. We approach the planet carefully, trying to keep our ship from breaking up in orbit. The monolith, whatever it is, must sense as much, because the next thing we know, we have enough scrap to patch up our damage and more besides. Alright. Thank you, giant monolith. I don't know how you knew what I needed, but I'll take it. Get them back in the teleporter bay. Actually, what I really need was a weapon, but they didn't happen to give me that, did they? Oh well. I guess beggars of giant space monoliths can't be choosers. It's another drone! This drone isn't looking for you. Perhaps it's getting ahead for the rebel expansion, or maybe they're seeking to use this nebula for cover. Regardless, it identifies this as hostile. That's okay. Boarding drone, go! Team boarding drone force. All right, now we're just gonna like watch him fight this ship. <laughs> All right, guys, somebody else is gonna go in some other different rooms, and you're gonna like, chill out in there for a bit or something. Hopefully, they miss us with a lot of those bombs, or this boarding drone manages to destroy that weapon system quickly. The problem is. This is going to be a really, really slow battle, as far as I can tell. Ow, hit us. Because we only get a point for destroying something when we completely destroy the level of it. And, uh, as far as I can tell, that's, that's not happening too fast. <sighs> Boarding drone. Dang it. If I had a higher level teleporter, I could probably afford to teleport my crew in and fight things and then teleport them back out. But as it stands, that's not really a reasonable option. It's also interesting that this drone bay only has two boarding has two drone slots in it. Normally they have at least three. But I guess I can't complain, since you do start with two free drones in it. I wonder what'll happen once we get all the systems destroyed and have a boarding drone on board. Will we be able to actually still do damage to anything? I guess it's kind of an experiment. We'll have to see what happens here. Because this shouldn't take too long to destroy, and then we'll have I guess it could be repairing its systems. And if it keeps repairing them up to one level, we can go in and destroy them pretty quickly. But, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what's gonna happen here. We'll have to find out and see. It's too bad my crew have literally nothing to do, though. <laughs> like, yeah, he's just gonna sit in there now until I repair something, isn't it? Ugh, what a boring fight. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna come back when we're done this fight. I'll be right back. Alright, here we go. So we've just been watching this guy slowly punch these systems to death as they've been repaired. Not the most thrilling event, but the ship explodes, leaving behind a fuel, two missiles, and 19 scrap. Now we really need a store so we can put these scraps to use and buy ourselves a one damage weapon that can actually hurt these things. But we have to admit, Zoltan Space is a beautiful and peaceful place indeed. However, re-engaging the FTL and finishing our mission is our priority, not sightseeing. So we have to jump onwards. We should be able to make our loop right around here. Hopefully find some interesting things. Eh, it's another drone. Eh. The AI of a nearby small rebel scout immediately identifies us as a threat and engages. Lovely. Boarding drone. Hope you hit them in the weapons again. That was convenient last time. No, Helm's not as good. Uh, that's not as good at all. I'm probably going to end up taking some hits now. Now, this is going to be the same thing again, as far as I can tell. So I'm tempted to just, you know do the same thing, cut you out, and then uh, let you know when we've actually beaten the fight. So I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. We may wind up actually taking some damage here, though, because of these guys, their ion blaster. So I don't know if I really want to jump away, because if we do wind up getting beaten up, I have a shame miss it. But nah, I'm just going to cut out, and we'll see what happens when we're back. Alright, so this ship has slowly fought its way into destruction. Ugh. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap, including two fuel, a drone part, and 15 scrap. Alright. Now, we really need a store. Good, there's one over there. I'm tempted to just jump straight there, but, I mean, it's such a waste to miss this little area. Hopefully there's no robots or Zoltan here. Well, Zoltan here would be fine. Ah, good. We arrive in an asteroid field and are greeted by a Zoltan guard. By attempting to access these closed mining fields, you are in violation of the National Mineral Processing Act. Your weaponry will be confiscated for processing. We don't have time for this. We're going to activate our defense drone to block some of those enemy asteroids. We're going to send our whole crew into this teleporter to prepare to board. Because in a second or two, those shields are going to go down, and then we're going to have some fun times. Also, I don't think they can actually hurt us as it stands. Come on, one more asteroid. Hit their shields. There we go. All right, guys. Hello. You coming to fight us? Oh, goody. 
Oh, goody. We've got four Mantis on board your ship. You're going to die incredibly fast. Yes, they are. <laughs> now that our ship has been emptied of hostiles, we search it, finding a prisoner who offers to join our crew, as well as 23, 23 scrap. We have a human. Hello, human. You can now be part of our... Uh, Weapons team? Shields? Shields team. Shields team? Engines. Engines. Engines or shields? Hmm. One of those. Those are the two systems we need powered, really. Probably shields? Nah. That's what leave him where he is. He'll be fine there. Teleport them out of there. Heal up the ones who need to be healed up. And we should be safe to jump to that store. Now let's see what's over here. What is in the store? The Zoltan are fascinated by other species and have set up something of an alien knick-knack shop here. Why not take a look? Inside we find weapons! Yay, weapons! Of course, they're all two power weapons, which is a little bit less than ideal. There is a cloaking device in there, which is kind of fun. We could probably afford to sell our stealth weapons augment. Um, I don't know. What do we buy? Probably the burst laser. We have to buy it. There's no choice. <laughs> we can't even power it yet, but we have to buy it because... Without it, we're such, such slow fighters. We have to be able to hurry up and shoot down Zoltan shields and that kind of thing. So, that is a vital upgrade. Can we... We can probably jump there, there, and there. Maybe get four jumps in. One, two, three, four before the end. We'll see. Yeah, we definitely need to afford to buy that 60 weapon control upgrade in order to get our burst lasers online. And then once that's happened, we should actually be able to fight people. So... Let us see. If we teleport over... Or not teleport. If we jump over this way... What will we find? We find a drone! Our ship is hailed. This is an automated message. Resisting on takeover is pointless. Prepare to die. It appears their rebel ship is run by an AI. Thanks for nothing, game. Alright. Time to do the same thing we did last time. Fire a boarding drone. Hopefully it hits the weapon bay. Because if it does, that makes things a lot faster. Go to the weapon bay. Yes, good. Because the sooner we can take out their weapons, the slower they'll be able to actually hurt us. And, uh, now we just sort of sit here and, uh, do the same thing we did last time. So, and they have ion bombs too, so it's not even like they can really hurt us. Although they can do that, which is a jerk move. Alright, well, they can't hurt us, so I'm going to be back when they're dead. Which is probably going to be even longer now that they can ion bomb our drone control. So, I'll see you then. Alright, here we go. That was an exceptionally long fight because they EMP'd my drone bay a couple times. We actually took a point or two of damage because they also EMP'd our shields at one point. But, I mean, there's, there's nothing to watch here. It's just boring. Ship explodes, leaving behind. Two fuel, a drone part, and 20 scrap. Alright, I don't like cutting things out for you guys because it's the game, but that's what it takes. Let's up get our weapon control, get our burst laser online, finally. There we go, we have a weapon. Take that, game. They're gonna make us wait things now. An asteroid field. All right. We jump. Our jump interrupts a Zoltan security ship as it follows a Mantis pirate into an asteroid field. They message us saying, "Your presence here will continue to be tolerated, but please do not interfere." Well, we are Mantis, so let's let's save the Mantis ship. Let's fight those Zoltan. Oh, they're not Zoltan. That's a slug ship. Sometimes you have to bet on the underdog, even on the rare occasions of the underdogs on Mantis warship. We set off for the heart of the asteroid field and engage the Zoltan there. Unfortunately for them, since they don't have any super mega shields, I'm gonna jump right in and murder everyone. Let's start by jumping into their weapons. That'll make them come out. Hello there, slug. Why do you have slugs if you're... whatever. Ow. Okay, we need to turn off our med bay, turn on our defense drones, and uh, send this guy to go put that... No, actually, we don't need to send anyone to put that fire out because it's in an airlock room. There we go. Now we're not in such trouble. There we go. That's much more like it. And these slugs should be dying any second now. Very nice. The Mantis are so grateful that they only take three quarters of the loot, leaving the rest for us. How civilized. How do they even get the loot? We killed these people. We got all the things on their ship. Whatever. They give us a fuel, two missiles, and 24 scrap. We'll take it. Hard to complain about free things. Alright, teleport back on board. Maybe I still need to heal up a little bit. There we go. Except that I turned that off, of course, because we're in a asteroid field. Let's jump over this way. Get out of that asteroid field. What's here? We receive a message. This area is off limits. Submit your ship to processing. It's only one guard ship, and a lonely beacon. We decide to fight our way out, because we're jerks like that. Aw, oh, yeah. Power up that health bay while we're waiting for our burst laser to slowly take out their shields. They do have a three-shot laser system here, so we may be in trouble. 
but our defense drone should have no... Oh, really? Really? There's no reason for that. Ugh. I hate when our drone randomly decides to miss things. When our ship gets hit for no good reason. Repair those shields, Mantis team. It's team Mantis healing forces, go! Alright, we hit another time. Put out that fire. I'm not even shooting at them anymore. Auto fire, please. Go, go, go. You guys are getting beat up, too. Okay, this is silly. Let's go heal up there, guys. Team Mantis Force needs health. And we'll burst laser them again, now that I remember. And we missed one. Fantastic. One more shot is all we need to be able to get in there and end this fight. But until that... Oh my goodness! Until that happens, we're going to keep getting wrecked by these things. Alright, you know, you're going to get in there and fix that yourself, because I'm too busy doing this other cool stuff. Alright, teleport everybody into the shields room. Turn off the burst laser. Turn off the burst laser. And just murder them! I don't need to put up with this garbage. And they... How did you miss, drone? You were the worst defense drone I've ever seen. Alright, the Zoltan are dead. <laughs> we find Eleven on their ship. With no crew to stop us, we install it on our own. It's another burst laser mark 1 and 19 scrap. Not bad, but I mean, not good either, really. Teleport them back into the teleport bay. Alright, guys. Heal up. That was, uh, frustrating. We do have two burst lasers now, though, so hopefully we'll be able to use them sooner or later. The more firepower we have, the more chance we have. Close that door, please, before keep, people keep suffocating by walking through it. Because that's generally not a good thing to do. Turn off our defense drone, I guess, because we don't need it anymore. Put the engine power back in the engines. Send him back to his post, and him back to his post. Alright, guys. Let's try it not sucking. Let's jump to the exit. Let's see what we can see. It's too bad. Burst lasers Mark 1 are terrible. They're just like Burst Laser Mark 2, just if they fire one less shot. They still have that two power requirement. Federation synthesizers. Sim sim synthesizers? Sympathizers. Contact us as we arrive. We know your mission should be a secret, so don't ask how we know about it. Just take this schematic, it's all we can do to help. An anti-ship drone Mark II. That's fairly powerful and also fairly valuable to sell. If we decide to sell it. Let's jump out of this area before we get overrun, and hopefully we'll find something good. Find an NG-controlled sector or an uncharted nebula. We're not going to the nebula, so let's go to this NG sector. Alright. We've arrived in NG space. The fall of the Federation has brought hard times for these robotic life forms, but they're usually willing to help. However, let me quickly check the time on this video. I really have no long, no idea how long it's taken since all those cuts. Let's see. All right, as I suspected, we are more or less out of time. So, thanks for watching, everyone. This has been Vanguard of Valor playing FTL on board the VSS Monstrosity. Godzilla and Mothra have rapidly been outnumbered, but we have a four mantis and have a four-man teleporter ready to jump them into whatever we need. Ooh, if you like the episode, don't forget to like the episode, and I will see you next time.